It was springtime, and the Fat Controller had released his new summer timetable. James was enjoying himself. Ha! <laughs> no more playing utility engine for me. This is the life. You know what? It seems like such a beautiful day to pull a special train. <clears throat> yep. A beautiful day indeed. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm flattered for a train of such prestige and distinction. <laughs> Surely there should have been room for some of the other engines to take part. I mean, they're just as good as me, aren't they? <laughs> oh, come on, Henri. Do I look like the sort of engine to hog the spotlight? Yes. You what? Express. Express. Train. James, you have my full attention, right up until that signal drops. Go. Well, I'm pulling the express now, but I've heard talk of a special train soon. I'm pulling the express again, so it's obvious that the Fat Controller is grooming me for that special train. So, why can't you just be happy with the express right now? Well... Pulling important trains is a moment of opportunity, a chance to shine, a mark of distinction amongst us engines, to head such a glorious... <gasps> Yay! Off to the yard! Finally. Pah! Wouldn't expect a tank engine to understand. What does he know about distinctive passenger trains? Or passengers for that matter. I've not had a passenger complaint all month. I would do wish I could say the same for those coaches. Is no one telling James anything anymore? Why didn't you say something, Carson? Weren't you listening? I'm listening. I just wanted to let him have his moment. Can't believe you stole it. Can't believe it. Stole it? James, my dear engine, the fat controller makes the timetable. We've all known about this for weeks. Well, we have. I suppose not you, James. Too busy parading around with Castle's express runs to notice. Speaking of which there, Castle, washout's free, and you're up. Not tonight, Jinty. An engine of distinction like me needs his beauty sleep. Oh, you listen to me, Jinty. I do not parade, thank you very much. And... and that certainly won't happen tonight. Oh, quieten down, James. How can I be expected to be quiet, Henry, when I'm so incredibly disappointed and annoyed? The Express was supposed to merely test my capabilities for this train. It's like the fat controller was just stringing me along on a... on a... Is anyone else thinking bootlegs? Anyone? No? Just me? For James's sake, we probably shouldn't mention the boot lace. James, would you kindly put this argument to rest and stop trying to pick a fight? Well, that thing, whatever it is, looks ridiculous. <laughs> oh, really? Green just isn't your colour. I don't think you understand, James. The purpose of the special train is to celebrate the books that thin clergyman wrote about us. It's been 70 years, Oh, and who cares? You're not even going to let me finish? It's not as though anyone's going to remember what the gravy train is, or was. It's a train with a name. You know, a really distinctive passenger train. You may not know much about those, but... Um, I have been pulling the express, you know. Uh, yes, we all know that. And he's still not happy. The weeks passed, and sure enough, the gravy train became very popular indeed. Sodor Castle didn't let it go to a smoke box, but that didn't stop James from fuming about it. It's not fair. I said it's not fair. Ugh, I heard you the first time. I really just don't see your argument, James. What possible reason have you got to complain? Because you wanted a train with a name? Any train with a name is a train of distinction. I deserve a train with a name. Hey, you know what other train has a name? The Flying Kipper? Do you know that one? God, 
such a waste of time. Gravy train, indeed. <laughs> Beneath me. You know, gravy train. That's the kind of thing they serve on the express, which, by the way, I get to pull. So, you know, such a gravy train. <laughs> 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 Did you just see Sodor Castle? Putting on a good performance, isn't he? Well, that's one way of saying it, Henry. Another way is... What a show-off! Once he had reached the end of the line, Sodor Castle had other duties to perform. Whilst passengers explored the nearby town, he left the coaches in a siding out of the way. Jinti had arranged his train. He'd been reallocated to the station yard for the day and was enjoying himself. You're running late, Castle. Only by a few minutes, Jinti, old son. I'll make it up on this run and be back in plenty of time. Oh, in a hurry? A quick rub down before I take the gravy train back would be superb. They're doing a special broadcast from the big station tonight, and I should like to look my best. Usually, Soto Castle was gone before the express arrived. James had never seen what he did between gravy train runs before. Well, well, well. Look who's taking goods while I'm assigned express work. Good afternoon, Soto Castle. You know, had it not been for that ridiculous headboard of yours, I wouldn't have even known you'd pass me. <laughs> what are you doing with those milk tankers instead of your coaches? Are you covering for someone or something? He likes the dairy run! Jinty! I like the dairy run. But you've got a train with a name? A name train? I'm quite happy to pull either, named or otherwise. It's all work, James. <coughs> all right, Castle. Yeah. <coughs> Never better, Jinty. <coughs> anyway, work to do. Can't stop. Hang on, Castle. Wait, wait, hang on, wait, I'm not ready. Oops. Well, you look like you've seen better days. How do you feel? Oh, just perfect. This won't do at all, Castle. I changed the timetable precisely so that this very thing wouldn't happen. Not to worry, Castle. The fat control is just a bit upset right now. You overworked yourself too much and... And didn't get the washout you needed when you needed it. I hate to say I told you so, but... If you hate to say it, then don't, Jinty. Now this puts me in a bit of a quandary. The television and radio people are meeting the train at the big station. They expect an impressive show, and with Castle indisposed... Yes, perfect. Sorry you can free up one engine. This train is top priority. I need to shift some assignments around. Who do you want on the train? I want that engine on this train. Did you meet James? Oh, fuck it. Oh, finally! I thought you'd never ask. I would be delighted, sir. Oh, he'll rule the day he did that. Have we got a substitute engine for the express? Henry should be along shortly. Perfect. Boom. And once again, James gets his way. Edward, Ginty, you can handle Shodor Castle's milk tankers. Great, smashing! 
why it seems like a beautiful day to pull a special train. I am absolutely flattered and humbled for a train of such distinction. Not that I don't deserve it. The gravy train was not like other services. It was slotted in as a special between regular trains. The gravy train passengers loved the ride. James, on the other hand, was too busy thinking what he would say to Castle when they next met. Oh, Castle, whatever did happen to the gravy train? Why, indeed, I do know the name. This is my train with a name, and... Oh! Oh, easy there, James. They're serving soup back there for the starters. The pastors want to be able to eat the food, not wear it. Whew. Okay, that was nothing. Just a little bit of a hiccup. It was on a named train. Uh, no, no, it's totally fine. Looking sharp, James. The express says hello. Ha 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 ha! Ah, this train has never run better. Onwards into the night. James was about to reply when he remembered how grand he'd look as he entered the big station. Oh, Henry, I can't wait to see the look on your face. I'll show them. I'll show them. Why, Henry, I can confidently say that the gravy train ran as smooth as... Oh, ah, ah, oh, ah, oh, help! I can't see anything! Great job, James. I thought you were being groomed for a special train like this. Shut up! You had one job, and you blew it! You blew it! No one had been hurt, but the gravy train was now, for the second time, a train without an engine. It remained unclear what good you and Sodo Castle have against the gravy train. You both clearly do not understand the weight and distinction of having a train with a name. <laughs> that is right, sir. James has no understanding or passion for trains of distinction whatsoever. <laughs> As a result, the two of you will not be attending the celebration this evening. Sorry, sir. Oh, James. <laughs> You've done it again. Where's your headboard? You broke it! Yeah, but not deliberately. It was an accident. It's not called a derail tour, James. Thank you, Ginty. That will do. But, sir, who's going to pull the train now? Obviously, you need to find an engine. One of distinction, who embodies sodry and pride to pull a 70th anniversary named train. An engine... I don't know, maybe... Uh, maybe like me. Um, well, obviously me. Quite sure, James, but not an engine. That gravy nonsense is bound to go to his smokebox. I can imagine it. <laughs> James and I don't really speak at all, weeks so... Weeks upon weeks of James just going on endlessly about... Henry? That's not James. That's not James. Ah, uh, what? How close to time would you say that was? 
Just about time. I'd say just in time. Good enough. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a little engine called Edwin. Thus begins the first in a long line of stories about the real way I run today. It has been 70 years since the thin clergyman wrote his first book about us, which brought our humble island to the eye of the world. <sighs> so embarrassing. I should be there. Special holidays, incredible visitors, and unforgettable... I made it! <laughs> ...inhabitants. Inhabitants? Does that mean us engines too? Well, why doesn't he just say that? So, let us raise a glass and celebrate the past, the present, and the future. I'll turn it off. It's embarrassing enough as it is. Well, how about that castle? In the end, neither one of us pulled the gravy train. Well, I did. Several times, in fact. Not the most... Desirable of positions, this, I must admit. I'll tell you what, Castle, and you mark my words, in ten years' time, when the 80th anniversary rolls around, I am going to be more than ready to take on whichever train with a name they want to give me. Because I was pulling that gravy train better than any express I've ever pulled. And obviously, if I can be trusted to pull a train with a name, then they'll trust me to do it again. It's only a matter of time. Oh, James, if it makes your day any brighter, you'll be happy to know that you were right about one thing at least. Just one? That headboard does look absolutely ridiculous. I, ho I hope I hope it does sound all right. Okay, that's it. That's it. All done. <laughs>